Hi, this short class is a sequence of postures designed to um, assist you in opening up or releasing tension from the neck, upper back, and shoulders. So you can either use this practice in conjunction with a, another practice, or you can just use it on your own if you're, if you're holding any tightness, tension, um, or really just want to target this specific area of your body. If you have props, you can use them. Um, a block uh, to assist you in a comfortable se seated position, um, a strap. If you don't have a block or a strap, things at home like a towel, a belt, or books uh, can always be used in place of traditional yoga props. So we're gonna start in a shoulder opener um, called child's pose, and then I'm gonna lead you into a, a pose to get you deeper into your shoulders. If you have blocks or uh, two books, grab them now. So go ahead and start in child's pose. Bring your hips to your heels and your arms long. We're gonna take an active child's pose here. So you want your arms reaching long and straight and then your forehead resting heavy on your mat. If this is too much. Again, you can rest uh, your forehead on a block. And if this already feels like tension or tightness in your shoulders, you can rest your elbows down on your mat. But again, just stay active in it so you feel the stretch in your shoulders. We're gonna take three deep breaths here. If your arms are long and extended, rest your elbows down on the floor, and then you're gonna take the palms of your hands, connect them together, and bring your, the, your thumbs, your connected thumbs to the back of your head. So feel the stretch in your triceps, and this is gonna increase the stretch in your shoulders too. You can stay here, or as you begin to feel the shoulders open, you wanna take it even deeper. If you have two blocks or two books, then place them, I don't have a second one here, but I can show you. Place them right below where your elbows just were on your mat, and now you're gonna take your elbows to your blocks. Bring the palms of your hands together. Rest your forehead down so your um, elbows are gonna be at a higher height, and you're gonna feel even an increased stretch here. And take a couple more breaths. Okay, remove the blocks out from underneath you if, if you have them. Extend your right arm long on your mat and you're gonna slide your left arm underneath your right. So you're gonna come onto the outer edge of your left shoulder and rest your ear on your mat. So you should have no tension in your neck, you just want your head resting heavy. Your palm is gonna face up. Now take your left arm long on your mat and slide your right arm underneath your left. Come onto your right shoulder and your right ear. and your right arm long. So stretch back one more time. And then come up to a tabletop position. We're gonna open the front of the shoulder now. So we are just opening the back. We're gonna open the front and, your, and we'll get into your chest as well. So you're gonna bring your right arm up, 
look up toward the ceiling. This might just feel like a big stretch here, opening up through the front. And then if you want to take it deeper, you can take your right hand, reach around for your left hip, and then start to roll, maybe take a grip of your shirt, your pants, your hip, start to roll your shoulder open. Now if you want a stretch in your neck and you have a healthy neck, so a healthy neck, no, I don't want you to have any issues going on in your neck, you can gently release your left ear toward your left shoulder. So only if this feels good. It feels like a big stretch in my body, but if you feel any like, um, like discomfort, just back off and keep your head upright. Extend and release back to tabletop position. So switch sides here. Lift your left arm up. And again, this might feel like a huge stretch, just holding right here. If you want to increase the stretch, you'll take your right hand to your right, or sorry, your left hand to your right hip. Take hold of your shirt, your pants, your hip. Roll your shoulder open. And then same thing on this side. Very slowly release your right ear toward your shoulder. At any point that starts to feel weird or uncomfortable or you get yourself in a little bit of a knot, please back off. Extend your arm long if you're bound and then come back to a tabletop position. So I'm just gonna have you um, press up to down dog just for a moment of transition. So from this position, you can release your heels down and lift your hips up. And then right away, we're gonna walk our hands to the back of our mat, bend your legs a lot and then drape your torso over your thighs. So your legs might be bent even more, that's great. We're focusing on the neck and the upper back here, okay? So I don't want you to feel a lot of tension in your hamstrings. Now from here, if you have a good solid foundation, take your hands and interlace them at the back of your neck or at the base of your skull, back of your neck, not on your neck though, base of your skull. And then let the weight of your arms just gently draw your head down toward the floor. Oh, that feels really good and like it's doing a lot to increase space between each vertebra. You can gently rock your head side to side. That is a fabulous, fabulous stretch, upper back and neck. Okay, now release your hands down towards your mat. Roll your way up to a stand. We're not gonna do a lot of standing stuff here, but uh, just for a couple poses to open the front, front shoulders, front body, all the way up to a stand. Okay, reach your arms up overhead. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. I'm gonna press your fists down toward the floor and press the palms of your hands together. If you have really tight shoulders, you can take a towel, strap, whatever, and hold on to your strap with your palms facing forward. Okay, so we're gonna come into a chest expansion. Bend your legs again, come forward. If you're holding onto your strap, you can take it as wide as needed. Okay, or your hands are clasped. They're coming up and over the back of your head. Okay, so either way, however you're holding on, I want you to feel a stretch in the front your shoulders, the fronts of your, or the, your chest, rather. Okay, no matter what you're holding on to, we're gonna take a bend to the right knee, straighten the left leg, and look to the left. Start to draw your hands to the right. Okay, 
and come back towards center. Bring your left shoulder to your left knee. Bend your left knee. Start to straighten your right leg. And then look to the right. Back to center. Release your hands down to your mat. And then just lengthen one time, flat back, come into monkey pose. Lengthen your spine, nice long neck. And then come back to a forward fold. And come back down onto your knees. Come into either, you can sit your hips to your heels or come into a comfortable cross-legged position. And just take a couple stretches for your neck. So bring your left hand down toward the floor. Bring your right hand on top of your head and then draw your right ear to your right shoulder and stretch your left arm long. Come back to center and then switch sides. Bring your left hand to the top of your head, left ear toward left shoulder. Back to center. Now just take a couple of gentle half neck rolls. So rock your head side to side. Bring your hands behind you going to open the chest, open the throat. So you can just press your chest up, maybe lift your hips up if that feels good. And release down. Okay, now the focus of this class is not necessarily on the hips. So you, I'm going to give you the option for full cow face pose you just want to forget about the hips today, I want you to just be comfortable in your seat. So cross-legged, you can sit again, your hips on your heels. If you want, you can sit on a block. If you want to take cow face pose or cow face legs with your cow face pose, you'll bring your left knee towards center. And you're going to stack your right knee on top, sitting bones on the floor. This is a very deep hip stretch. So again, it's optional. It's not really the focus of today's class, but if you like this pose, go for it. Okay, so whatever position your legs are in, we're gonna take um, either, if you have a strap, you can take your strap in your hands. I'm gonna guide you with the strap, and then if you know where you're going and wanna take the bind, go for it. So if you have a strap, you're just gonna take it into your right hand. You're gonna lift your elbow up, and then you're gonna take the strap, make sure the long part is dangling down behind you, and you can reach your left hand for the strap. Okay, maybe this is where you're at today. The focus, of course, is that you're sitting up. So if you're rounding forward, find a seat where you can see, keep your, um, your spine long. Okay, so you can start walking your hands up and down your strap as you hold the pose. If you're not using the strap, you can bind your hands. If you don't have a strap and you can't bind your hands, take your left hand on your right elbow, press your fingertips down. If you're in full cow face, or if you have the full bind, and you can keep your spine long, you can hinge forward if you want. Those are all just options for you. Everybody's body is different. You might be dealing with um, something going on on one side or the other, so your sides might even be different from each other. And just be okay with wherever you're at today, because what you're doing is taking time to increase your fle flexibility, to release tension, and to find new room and movement in your body. So you're doing it, and that's all that matters. Okay, we're gonna release. Take it on the other side now. So if you wanna take the cow face legs, I'll talk you into it, otherwise, 
if you're in a cross-legged position, switch the cross of your leg. So maybe your right foot was in front, maybe your left leg was in front now. Otherwise your left leg is going to left knee is going to go on top of your right. Okay, strap. And take your strap into your left hand. Let your long end dangle down and then reach your right hand around for the long end. Okay. It, this might look a lot different than what I'm doing. Okay, so most important is that you're sitting up. Maybe you take your right hand on your left elbow, sit up. Maybe you clasp your hands behind your back. Don't take the clasp if it looks like this. It defeats the whole purpose of the pose. If you're upright and you can hold your spine long, you're welcome to hinge forward. Just experiment with the pose. Don't sacrifice the integrity of your posture to get deeper into the pose. So we're just going to hold it for a few more moments here. Release your arms. Let's take another chest opener. So similar to our child's pose at the beginning of our class, we're going to take heart melting pose. So getting a little more into the, the chest. I'm going to bring your knees directly underneath your hips. Your hands are going to be wider than shoulder distance this part, this time. Bring your um, body back toward the back of your mat. Walk your hands forward and, per the name of the posture, start melting your heart toward the floor. So you can rest your head down. So in my body, the backs of my shoulders are very, very tight, the tops of my shoulders. So I really have to utilize my breath to hold this pose. For some people, this just feels relaxing and glorious. And for me, it feels intense. So what do I do? I ramp up my breath, try and just relax as much as possible into it. One more breath. And walk yourself back up. Okay, now we're going to take fish pose. So we're kind of getting backs and fronts, backs and fronts. So uh, fish pose is going to open the fronts of your shoulders, big throat opener as well. So you're going to bring your forearms down to your mat. Walk your legs forward. And then start to release your head back down toward your mat. Maybe your, the top of your head can rest onto the floor. This feels like too much tension or you just don't like it. You have your block, maybe two blocks. Maybe you have a, a pillow you could use or a bolster. You can take supported fish if you prefer this posture. So for supported fish, you just place your block underneath your upper back. And you rest your head down on your mat and let your um, shoulders fall down so this is more of a restorative variation of the pose. Either way, just let the fronts of your shoulders and your chest open.
You can stay, if you're in supported fish, you can stay in supported fish. If you're not, come down onto your back. And you're all ready for Shavasana. We'll take a short Shavasana just to wrap up our practice. And just let your arms rest alongside your body. Just feel the sensations in your shoulders, your chest, your heart space, your upper back. And soften your breath, soften your face. Please stay in your Shavasana for at least a few more minutes. Um, those, that was just a number of postures presented to you to open up your shoulders, neck, throat, chest. You can practice those and hold them for a longer amount of time to increase um, your flexibility. And the, the more often you hold them, the longer you hold them, the more of a difference you're gonna see in your body. So thanks for checking out this class. I hope you enjoyed it. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, in your words, in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.